All right, so it looks like we got the data download for Ultra Hit here. Uh, usually I like waiting for the actual game to get the data download just so we can see the stats of the character, but here's Hit. Maximum stats. Okay, looking pretty good, actually. Blast attack, not the greatest. Strike attack, obviously very high. Defenses, too. I was uh, genuinely concerned that Hit was going to be given very low defenses uh, because he has so many different means of healing his HP. I, I figured maybe that's to compensate for it. Strike cards that give some additional damage. Very good. Strike restores key. Blast does nothing. Blue card. Massive impact damage. Uh, following effects occur upon activation. 20% blue card damage. Reduce enemy key by 50. Blast armor going forward. If you use the blue card in the time skip, massive impact damage. Randomly draw one new card, 20% blue card damage, and the enemy takes 20% more damage. Green card. If the unique gauge is filled, you activate time skip. This attack cannot be evaded with a vanish step. This attack cannot be cover changed against. Resets own unique gauge to zero if this attack misses. So you can't evade it with a vanish step and you can't cover change into it, but you can miss the time skip? What does that mean exactly, if you're able to miss it? Uh, part of me thinks that, you know, based off of the previews, the green, it looks like Hit has to counter an attack with this, similar to what the yellow Hit does with his green card, uh, where he's anticipating an attack. That's what it seems like for this one, but I'm not entirely sure. It could be like the EX... Um, uh, Gildo, I believe is his name, where it's sort of like an AoE just attack that freezes someone in place. But this says that you cannot evade it with a vanish step, so I don't know what it really means. We'll have to see in game. Once the time skip mode is activated, prevent all other characters from making actions for a set number of timer counts. Own unique gauge gradually decreases while in time skip mode. Yep. Activates a finishing attack when own unique gauge reach reaches 0%. Dealing impact damage and ending time skip mode. Any damage inflicted during time skip mode will be accumulated and be added to the damage dealt during the final attack. So you don't get a proper sense of how much damage you're doing. It sounds like Hit is just going to be doing all the attacks. Their HP doesn't move. And then once you're out of time skip, boom, it all gets applied at once. The following restrictions apply during the time skip mode. You cannot use a rush or switch characters. Uh, your own unique age goes back to zero, and the time skip ends if you use the ultimate arts card. You have a 50% damage inflicted reduction, except for the ultimate when you use time skip. Okay, that seems that's a pretty smart restriction. Uh, they already knew th th that this thing would be ridiculously OP if you're able to just go ahead and kick the crap out of your opponent without any damage restrictions whatsoever. So 50% less damage once you're in time skip mode, but the only card that has nothing holding it back is going to be your ultimate arts, which makes sense. Uh, the enemy can only be defeated by the finishing attack or an ultimate arts. Okay. So all the way at the end, and it makes sense, it's just how the behavior of the game works. Uh, the enemy's defensive actions, counters, automatic evades, etc. will not activate. Is that the first time they've used etc. in a passive? <laughs> that seems kind of funny. But that answers the question, you know, LF Gogeta Blue's green card can't counter you, Ultra Gogeta Blue's blast cover unique gauge won't counter you, so it makes sense. If unique gauge is below 100% and while not in time skip mode, the green card will draw one card, restore on key by 40, give you a 20% strike damage buff, and charge unique gauge by 10%, and gives him anti-cover change for 10 timer counts, holy crap. It's just like uh, Ultra Super Gogeta. Uh, while you're in time skip mode, if you pop the green card, you will get one new card, restore 40 key, and get a 30% damage buff for five timer counts, making that minus 50% damage inflicted buff just 20%. Assuming it's just additive like that. Time skip Molotov? Okay, deal supreme impact damage, applies the following effects to self upon activation. Restore vanish gauge by 100%, 30% to critical rate, nullify uh, endurance. Wow. This thing is gonna hit like a truck, but restoring your own vanish gauge is pretty nice too. Main ability, try all you like, it won't work. Draw the ultimate arts, restore on health by 20% and keep by 50, 40% to alt damage inflicted, 15% crit rate for 40 timer counts, and then a minus five to sub count for your allies. 
Damn, he's meant to be the giant powerhouse that goes in for universe rep, I suppose. But that's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. We got your standard leader skill. Uh, 14 star, 5% special move buff or strike attack and defense for universe rep or powerful opponent. And now let's see the real details. Growth through battle. Applies the following effects to self when the battle starts. 110% damage inflicted. 60% reduced damage received with level 1 card draw speed. And he starts the fight with 25% unique gauge. So that's pretty strong. Applies the following effects to self when he enters the battlefield. 30% damage inflicted activates twice. So like 8 Vegeta, you want to start with hit. And then swap back into him so you can you can already get the 140% and then get the 170. Uh, it also looks like he... What is this? 30% extra damage inflicted against blue? Is this supposed to be for Beast Gohan? What is this? I'll take it. I mean, why not? It's just funny how <laughs> this sort of build-up is the same as 8 Vegeta and he too had some additional quirks against type disadvantage. So that's kind of funny. Uh, minus 3 to Art's cost. Cannot be cancelled. Activates twice. I'm just realizing now, Hit is going to do so much damage to blue units. Wow, activates twice too, so 230% damage inflicted against blue units. Does that mean that uh, you can look past type disadvantage with this? I don't know. Uh, also draw a special arts card next if this character's unique gauge is filled. Activates once, applies the fall effects to self when this character uses an arts card. Heal 3%, get minus 3% to enemy sustained damage cut effects, cannot be cancelled, activates 10 times with 3% crit rate. Basically, it sounds like with hit, you want to build him up. You want to go through 10 cards. I'm going to assume by 10 cards being finished, his unique age could be filled. I don't know, I guess it really boils down to how long the fight goes for, but after 10 cards is when you want to use hit. So start the fight with hit, try to get priority, go through the 10 cards, swap out, bring him back in. His unique age is filled, he has the green card, and then I guess you just initiate with the opponent and pop the green uh, the green card. I think that's what the winning formula is with this guy. Plus the following effects to self every time the enemy uses an arts card. Restore on health by 3%, plus 10% special move damage, activates 5 times, plus 10% ult damage. That's insane. Minus 30% to enemy sustained damage cut effects. 30% crit rate, he gets what, another 15% from his main ability? No, yeah, it is 15%. And then he gets another, what, 30% from the ultimate when it's activated? God, there's 75% crit rate. God damn, hit is... He's gonna be doing so much damage, holy crap. Fine-tuned skill, uh, skills. Knock back enemy to long range if it cover change is performed. Universal cover change. Uh, cover change against attacks other than striker blast are also countered. Okay. Combo bull with the blue card. Gradually charges on unique age over time while this character is on the battlefield or on standby, except for when he's in time skip. Changes next on a special arts card into time skip once the unique unique age is filled. This is the important part here. Changes next own special arts card. So what if Hit is in the battlefield with a green card and his unique age just so happens to fill? Does that mean that that green card will not work for this? It has to be the next one that he draws? Sometimes the wording in Legends can be a little bit conflicting, but I assume it's the latter. He, it, the green card just shifts over into one that works as a time skip. Uh, the following effects occur when this character enters time skip mode. Restore 50 key, randomly draw 4 new cards if you have 3 or fewer, nullify insurance for 10 timer counts, cancel enemy attribute upgrades and buff effects, <laughs> minus 100% to health restore. That's the scary one there. Minus 100% to health restoration. As if having the uh, anti-endurance built in, into him wasn't enough. I guess if 17 was to counter it in some way, shape, or form, then it wouldn't even matter because he won't heal from his endurance getting procced. He's just going to be back to 1 HP. Following effects occur every time this character defeats an enemy. Restore 40 key, take away 40 key, and take away an enemy uh, Dragon Ball. He looks to be pretty spooky, gentlemen. I think he has a very good kit. Obviously, we're going to have to see what he looks like in-game, but uh, yeah. Hit is looking pretty damn strong. Um, there's also the new free-to-play Kefla event, which I believe is dropping with him. But the Zenkai Awakening for the green Kefla, as well as a new equip coming out of co-op, from what I'm told, is going to be uh, the next reset. The regular reset time, which is uh, Wednesday. 
So that's when you're going to be expecting that. Uh, the banner is also crap. There's no red MUI or anything like that. Uh, now in terms of any equipment, this is a team I plan on throwing him on for the showcase just because it's more strike oriented. The yellow 18, Beerus, MUI. I, I may have to use Jiren just because I need I need some uh, blast base cards too, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, I just want to check. Yeah, they awakened that hit crit equip here. So what do we got? Base critical, base critical, base critical. For anyone that's curious, base critical, uh, it, it stinks. It's not worth it. Even though this is giving you, what, up to 61%, it's not worth it. At the end of the day, the amount that it raises it is so minuscule, you're not, it's not worth taking a slot away and the resources needed to even awaken the thing. So don't waste your time. It's not worth it. 61% is not going to help you out. Uh, is there any new equipment in general here is another thing I, I want to wonder. Uh, I'm going to be scanning through it real quick, but I don't think there is. If we filter it by Universe Survival Saga... Yeah, there's nothing new here either. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you're thinking about a hit, but overall he looks pretty damn strong. Ultra Banner still stink. Uh, the free-to-play... Oh, the free-to-play Kefla! How am I going to get her kit? I don't see her in here, but I think the data mines do have her. So I think we're going to jump over there quickly. Okay, so big shout out to Grassdog over on Twitter for the data mines. But it, we do have free to play Kefla's kit here. So we'll go ahead and go through this as well. Um, we don't see her in game because she's not available yet. But thankfully, he snagged the kit. Uh, main ability, draw blast guard snacks, restore on health by 20% and key by 30 Apply buff effect, nullify enemy special actions that activate when changing cover for 15 timer timer counts. Cancel attribute, uh, wait, cancels? Allies attribute downgrades, cancel enemy attribute upgrades. Seems like a decent main ability. Uh, my only hope out of this Kefla is that she's going to be like the Broly equivalent. Because that free-to-play Broly is fantastic. There's no real reason for them not to be good. The caliber of units that you need now is so high to be meta relevant or relevant at all. Um, unique ability, 80% damage inflicted, 40% additional damage inflicted for 80 timer counts, 20% blast damage inflicted, 50% uh, reduced damage received with an additional 15% for only 30 timer counts. Seems all right, I guess. It's not too bad. <clears throat> Inflict enemy attribute downgrade minus 20% to health restore for 15 timer counts on striker blast arts hit. Not bad. Restore on health by 10% when enemy switches characters while this character is on the battlefield. That's, not, that's actually quite a bit. 10%? Wow. Uh, that's a significant amount of healing. And there's no stop in it either. I don't know. That could be something interesting. Uh, the following effects occur every time when faced with an enemy that is god key. 20% damage inflicted for 10 timer counts. Uh, inflict all enemies with the attribute downgrade plus 5 to all arts cost. Not bad. Second passive. Inflict all enemies with the attribute downgrade. Minus 30% to crit rate. I guess that's intended to be sort of like a counter to ultra hit. Just to drastically reduce his crit rate, I suppose. Uh, for 15 timer counts when this character enters the battlefield. Uh, applies the following effects if there is an ally, universe, rep, or girl other than this character battle member. 20% damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Uh, plus 20% to key recovery for 20 timer counts. Apply the shortened sub count by 1. Every time she's faced with an enemy, restore 20 key, 20% damage inflicted, minus 5 to blast starts. That's actually pretty good. She gets a lot of damage coming out of um, uh, your enemy swapping out to different characters, especially if they're god key characters. So that's not bad. Her blue card, major impact, 30% blue card damage for 5 timer counts. Seal 1 enemy card. Uh, sealed card cannot be used for 10 timer counts. Green card. Draw blast card, 30 key, 20% blast damage inflicted by ally, shorten ally sub count. It's not bad. Her Z ability, universe rep, event exclusive, or girls blast attack and defense. It seems alright. That That's the basically the gist of it. So, I guess that's everything. Let me know in the comment section below what you're thinking about these characters. How are you thinking about hit, if you're summoning or not. But until next time, peace.